David has been my roommate um, when we're on the road for like the last four years. And I just remember waking up that morning and I just uh, was listening to music. But something about that morning, I was just like, man, I looked at David, I was like, we about to win this game. We were both telling each other, talking to each other like, yo, this is, this is our last game in a Gardner Webb uniform. You know what I'm saying? Now, to just put to put everything out um, out there on the court. We actually had like a, a good talk that morning. I was like, Dave, like we'll win this game no matter what. Like I'm, we're, you're gonna bring it, I'm gonna bring it. We're, we're just gonna go out there. And no, no fear, all confidence, and just be able to play the game that we love. Just try to uh, keep making history. Sunday is gonna be a, a big one because they beat us there uh, earlier this year. Uh, we just got to go in there, play hard. No one expected us to be like how we are this year. We got chosen six. Now we in championship Sunday. Whatever happens, we're going to go out there, play hard, do what we do, and hopefully we come out champions. I just knew I just needed to play hard. I just wanted to leave my legacy on the court, leave it all out there. I just felt it when we were sitting down before the lineups. I was just like, this is my last chance to show what I got. And I just came with that mindset from the jump ball. Tip goes to Gardner-Webb. I said, let me get it rolling. If I can get it rolling, I can keep it rolling. So being able to score those first few points, I was like, all right, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. For a senior to have a career high, in the championship game for the conference. That's movie script stuff. It's like a movie for that guy, you know, his parents in the stands watching him, and um, uh, it's, it's amazing. I was in the right spot at the right time, and they were giving it to me at the right time. So I just believe that that was a team effort, too. Everybody was playing unselfish. They were like, you know what? He has a role, and we're going to keep on giving it to it. One time in the game, me and Dave go up to each other like, do you think he's going to miss? And me and Dave were like, bro, I hope not, because, like, <laughs> it was like he just got it going. So he wasn't missing. I think um, he was he was playing out of his mind. After watching the tapes, I, I remember them talking to me, but like I was just so locked in. I was just like, I can't remember anything about that game just besides the crowd. Like every time I would score, like this going crazy. I'm like, I'm just locked in. I'm just in my own zone. So I was just like, I don't know. It was just a different experience. Everything I, because I, I remember being with my team, but the noise was all canceled. I was just locked in. I was in my own zone. And it was, it's still, I still can't explain it. <laughs> what was crazy was just like, he was telling me how like, he just felt different out there. And um, that God was with him throughout the whole game. I just felt a presence <laughs> as I was playing. I just felt a peace. Have you ever had that feeling before? Um. Honestly, not in the game. And he said he felt like there's a presence, that he felt God's presence with him, and I totally believe it. He just, he, he, he was so confident. Uh, he was so at ease with himself. And, and to give God the credit in, in, that, in, that, um, in that moment was special. Every time Radford was about to make a push, or every time Radford did make a push, Gardenway was able to find a way to answer. DJ Lasser was unbelievable. You know, have Effiani and Jose, you know, the job they were doing was just incredible. For a while there, they couldn't miss. It was really impressive to see how they played that game. I remember watching it and just screaming at the TV and, you know, cheering for them. And it was such an incredible environment. Uh, and it was such a tremendous game. I want to say it was about 30 seconds left and we had a 10 point lead. What had happened is we got fouled. They fouled us. Rebound Perez, foul. And we had some guys start to like look into the crowd and, and put their hands up and like the game was over. I was on fire. I mean, I was trying to scream everything. And Tim got really mad, like he got mad. And he came out, sat next to me, and was all grumpy. I said, hey, dude, I said, I guarantee you right now the camera's on you. We're up 10 points with 30 seconds to play. I think Luther came over and was like, hey, <laughs> we're good. Like, let it go. He said, hey, man, you, you know, chill. So basically, chill out. <laughs> we, got, we, we got this. The game's over. So he kind of put a, put a smile on his face because he knew at that point in time 
was probably going to be ours. The running Bulldogs on the wrong side of heartbreak each of the last three years here in this tournament. Those will all be distant memories. Boiling Springs, forget running, we're going dancing. For the first time, the Gardner-Webb Bulldogs are champions of the Big South and headed to the NCAA tournament. Once the game was over, and like the you know the cameras on you know everybody's jumping around, and he and he he was continuing to point in the sky, and he was just saying, "God, this this is God, this is God." I didn't really know what to do. I kind of looked uh, to Tim, and he started because he's such a gracious guy. He started to go shake Mike Jones's hand. By the time we got through the handshake line. My three kids come running out, and my wife comes running out. At that time, it kind of started to sink in a little bit. I didn't know what to do, man. I didn't know whether to, to jump up and down or stand still or get on the floor. I don't know, but my emotions just took over, man, and I just started celebrating with my teammate. That was pretty cool to, to do and to see. I still can't explain it. You know, my mom was there. I had some family there. Uh, just seeing them, you know, run onto the court, and everyone is just like, going crazy it's it's like once in a lifetime feeling it was just huge moment for everybody this it was just incredible like it's really really hard to put into words we finally did it <laughs> it was a great feeling uh, once that buzzer went off and it was just like all the the hard work and and the sweat that you that you put into the game each day it, it uh it, it came into tuition At the end of the game i'm crying like a like a five-year-old, you know, it was very emotional and, and the culmination of a lot of um, a lot of years of hard work. And to see all those guys celebrate, you get close with kids as you travel with them and, and get to know them. And um, all the folks involved with the program, uh, everybody's so excited. It was really neat. I get a little emotional talking about it. Uh, it's hard for me to explain without becoming too emotional about it. And, and I think that to me was was kind of where where I was in the whole thing. I mean, it was a tear-filled, exciting time. The tears and the emotion just started coming because I knew we finally reached a milestone, finally gotten over the top of that mountain, finally accomplished something that I never actually thought would come true. And I was supposed to cheer on Press Row, and I never did. But I started crying, and I'm not sorry for that. It, it was a God thing. It was it was it was definitely destined for us. We put in that work. We kept God first with everything. Having the coaches like remind us to keep God first in everything. To our practices, having Bible study, like being able to do that. So I, I feel like He just rewarded us at the end of the day and uh, at the end of the season, and we were able to get the job done. It's unbelievable how, how we were able to get it done and being able to, how it all played out. And I just love the experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I think that's when you really started getting like choked up and emotional. Because not just for me, uh, more so for the people that have been in Boiling Springs their whole life, People have been affiliated with the school forever and maybe thought that day would never come. It was like so many tears, so many emotions for so many people. Um, you know, I didn't sit there and like ball out. I know a lot of people did, but being able to sit there and just take it in was super cool.